Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well talking to you from my hometown of Westeros, Sweden. Uh, this is where I grew up. I've been here now for a week, played a lot of tennis. The idea was to come here to visit my mom and dad. Uh, but uh, also tennis happened, which it usually does. Uh, a little bit more than I had intended. I, I you know, planned going to the gym a lot. I have done that, uh, signed up for a week's membership at a local gym. So I've been going and it's been helping my, you know, arm and elbow and everything else so i can really recommend doing some gym physiotherapy and whatnot if you're uh, suffering from some arm pain it usually helps to strengthen all the muscles around it it's been a great trip i've uh, been playing a lot of tennis big thanks to roger my stepfather who really helped set up some tennis and, and also big thanks to magnus the guy who runs the vestros tennis club he's helped the club grow tremendously around like 100% or something in, uh, in a short time. Uh, really a dedicated guy, works a lot, uh, takes time with uh, players and people visiting the club. And they have a really nice facility there with uh, around six plexi paved courts, some clay courts outside. Weather didn't really permit us to play a lot of clay court tennis. I played twice on the clay, I think. I ended up playing most of it on hard courts indoors. And it's such a huge contrast. You go from the slow paced clay to the really high paced uh, indoor courts where it's easier to serve. You get a bit more pace to, on the ball, but it also requires a bit more footwork uh, compared to the clay. You have less time, so you need to move. Uh, but I played with a bunch of different players and uh, I really enjoy that. Uh, all kinds of levels, strong veteran players, uh, players playing you know, high level seniors tennis, men's 45. Also a uh, futures level player who, who just you know, retired from the futures tour and playing on the, on the professional level. Um, yeah, everything in between. It's been a varied bunch of players. So big thanks to uh, Jonathan who I played with, Michael, Magnus of course, we played a lot, to Johan and to um, Jakob uh, or Jeppe as he's called uh, who is uh, was the best player I played really a strong uh, level player ranked a thousand in the world something like that and has played on on a really high level and uh, obviously there's no chance for me to play against such a guy but it, I really have a lot of fun doing it and I really improve a lot and the tempo forces you to expend a lot of energy so you really feel like you get a proper workout with this kind of, of level of play and I really want to point out how different it is uh, when you're uh, playing with these guys who have played futures level or even higher or uh, when you're a professional tennis player you have pretty much everything you have a good serve everything is, is, is tuned uh, you're in good physical shape uh, it requires so much to be a professional tennis player just uh, want to reiterate that over and over again and it's so difficult to make a living from it it's, uh, it's a tough lifestyle you might need to live in a in a trailer, you might have to go around stringing your own rackets, paying for everything yourself. It's pretty costly, you need to restring all the time. You might not even afford a coach. It is not the easiest lifestyle. There are a lucky few, maybe 100 players or so in the world that can actually live comfortably from tennis, but it's a pretty small number compared to all the players that are like working so hard day in and day out in, in improving their craft, but then maybe, you know, not really catching that lucky streak that they need to to bump up their ranking and and get you know invited to uh, more high level tournaments uh, yeah so you need the, the grind is real it's tough and it forces a lot of players that have good talent high level uh, to quit tennis and focus on something else whether that's coaching or you know business or something different uh, it's just a shame that players who are really talented need to to do something else because i think uh, i i would be good if we could find an ecosystem of tennis where Players could easier make a living. They, the national federations could, you know, offer them some incentive or to financial incentive of playing or some financial support uh, to be able to play professionally if they have the level to do so. Instead of of this really rough lifestyle that most uh, lower level pros have to to do. I uh, just wanted to point that out. Always fun to hit with these guys, uh, but I wish that they could actually sustain their pro level career for a bit longer. Uh, you might have seen my video with David Sanz Perez. Uh, ranked around 200 uh, at, at best. Uh, he was a very, very strong player and who has practiced with uh, Jakob here in the video. And uh, yeah, they're both two examples. They're in the same age, 26 years old, that they, they need to kind of retire from professional tennis because it's so difficult to travel around. 
earn points and it can't it's not really sustainable in the long run for for most players and that's a shame because these guys they they are very talented and they can play really high level and it's uh, if you haven't hit with one of these guys when they actually turn on their top level it's it's a completely different sport it's like they're playing table tennis and you're playing tennis and uh, and i really enjoy doing that it's a big challenge but it's also reminds you how much work is required to become a strong tennis player uh, so big kudos to the guys that work hard and try to make it onto the professional tour because it's definitely definitely not easy uh, but that's a tangent a lot of fun playing with with jacob uh, or yeppe as it's called magnus also hits a great ball quit when he was 15 from from tennis and then came back the last five years i think he's 53 now and he's been improving his game steadily over the last you know year or so and now it's a really good ball and uh, he's also a, a proper tennis nerd so, so he switches rackets all the time which is something i'm not sure if i should approve of but i like that he's been following tennis nerd and my my content for a while i don't want to drive all you guys uh, or girls down a rabbit hole that's not my intention it's more to kind of give you information and, and give you ideas on, on to how to find the racket for you perhaps that's the case now for magnus he is really happy with his v core 100 and he's playing well with those rackets uh, so i think it's a good option for him but it can be difficult to to avoid all the all the temptations of new rackets and strings and so on that that hit the market all the time my intention is not to lead you astray from a racket that works for you but to find one that works well and that you can stick to that's my my intention with tennis start is, is always to help so i hit with magnus it was great he's a really good strong player i hit with yuan hammerfist who's a, a, a competes well in the men's 45 i think category on the senior tour here locally a uh, very strong player very aggressive game suits the indoor courts perfectly uh, with his kind of a flat game style and when i played a few tie breaks with him uh, he really trashed me because his, his game is just made for these courts really nice hitting clean ball striking very aggressive player and uh, a lot of fun to hit with uh, it was very nice to to travel out here be able to meet some tennis players obviously meet my mom and and my family uh, but uh, also to be able to hit some some quality tennis balls uh, with local players here and i hope to do so more in other countries as well travel around a bit more meet some of the local tennis scenes see some of the local tennis clubs you know that's one of the thing I, things i wanted to do with tennis nerd was to kind of really shine a light on how tennis is played and and you know different courts different clubs different players all around the world and that that's kind of the the dream vision of mine to do that and we'll see if i can do that more now that the if the pandemic ever kind of quiets down and, and stops being annoying uh, let's uh, let's hope that happens soon because it's it's still uh, quite tricky to to travel and but i would like to travel more i would like to see you at your club and hit some tennis balls i think that would be great and i, I get these nice emails and invitations all the time i really am thankful for that i uh, would love to come and play with you and meet you and, and then see your club and your local facilities it's just not been very easy now the last two years as you know but hopefully in a year or so uh, that will be a bit more convenient and i can start traveling a little bit more and that's my intention at least uh, so great trip big thanks to all of you who played with me jonathan michael magnus johan and jacob it was a lot of fun thanks to roger for setting everything up as always and my mom of course for for doing everything else she does for me i hope you enjoy some of the highlights you've seen here that I, I posted thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it please subscribe to the channel if you do tell your tennis friends about tennis nerd my aim is to help and and to bring passion for tennis which is very deeply engraved in me so i'm trying to bring that through the lens and to you i hope i can i can do it so and that you enjoy the content i put out uh, if you want to support tennis nerd check out patreon.com slash tennis nerd where you get more content every month for just a few bucks if you want to buy a racket string a shoe please consider doing so using my affiliate links tennis warehouse tennis warehouse europe and tennis only they're in the description below i get a small commission if you do at no cost to you have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis